said that. <laughs> uh -huh. Tiny turn <laughs> Where is she?
Mr. Ray brings you complete golf highlights from the PGA Championship. Those stories and Bob's forecast for your work week ahead, all coming up at 10 on Action News 5. We tried everything with our son before we called Lakeside. It isn't your fault. You've come to the right place. for all of you. Leave the sadness behind. Call Lakeside now. I'd get a license to chill card and start maximizing your discretionary income. My stockbroker recommended junk bonds, but I'm sticking with this. Get licensed to chill at the most exciting event this summer, the Pepsi Summer Chill Out, and you could win some really great stuff. You roll the savings into a 401k, a great tax shelter. Look for Pepsi's license to chill booth and take the Pepsi Taste Test Challenge for instant prizes and discounts all summer long. Watch Wheel of Fortune tonight at 10.30 on TV5. It only takes five minutes to make coffee. No, oh, thank you. Just one cup? You don't have to feel compromised. I won't seduce you. Look, I really can't stay. Machine. That's how the man knew about the meeting with Charlie. Who was in the house? No one. I didn't let anyone in. Amy, that means somebody broke in. Oh, God. The man who came to see me today. Maybe he's the killer. And I let him get away. Oh, Ken. I made such a mess of this. I'm a failure as a detective. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Come here. <laughs> Look, we, we wouldn't have gotten this close without you. And don't forget, you can identify him if we see him again. That could be very important. Think so? Absolutely. Tell me that this is a perfect example of why I shouldn't be involved in this at all. Yeah, well. But you didn't. You stood by me when I needed you. Ken. You've given me the strength to go on. I yeah. have? Definitely. All I need is a good night's rest and, well, Tomorrow's another day. You don't learn, do you? What do you mean? Well, what I mean is you almost got the three of us killed today, and you're ready to start up again tomorrow, so nothing happens. I think I liked you better when I was weak and vulnerable. Well, I don't think we should discuss this tonight. Yes, if I were you, I'd leave while I was ahead. Come on. What are you doing? You're not staying here. A man broke into this house. It's not safe. You're staying with me. Now, come on. Well, when you put it like that, what can I say? Thought you said you wouldn't seduce me. I have to pick up some of Dad's papers from his study. Oh, what kept 
you. Well, I've wanted to see you every day, but I just couldn't take the chance for your sake. For my sake? Sweetheart, I don't blame you, but if people found wait out Wait a minute, about... wait a minute. You think that I killed him? Honey, I can't blame you. I should hope not. I assume that you did it. Me? Oh, oh my, look at your face. I can't believe how well you lie. I'm going to have to reconsider a couple of things you have told me with so much conviction. I hope I'm not interrupting family business. Actually, we were just talking about the murder. Anything new on the investigation? Yes, that's uh, why I'm here. More questions, Mr. Horton? I'll be in my father's office if you need me. All right, ask away. I just hope this theory is a little more interesting than your last theory. I think it will hold your interest. The phone call to your stepson on the night of the murder. Phone call? The records from the phone company say it took place almost at the time of the shooting. We know that because the call to the police was less than two minutes later. Is this leading somewhere? Yes. You're telling me who placed the call? Well, let me see. I was in the bathtub when the shooting happened. So apparently my husband called his son. I would guess to tell him that he wasn't going to New York after all. Wouldn't you think? The operator at your stepson's answering service remembers hearing a woman's voice. Mr. Mason, don't you know anything? An answering service has two real functions. One is to put you on hold. And the other is to write down your message incorrectly. Will there be anything else? I wouldn't be at all surprised. You look very comfortable in your father's chair. I am. What can I do for you, Mr. Mason? I was wondering why your stepmother called you the night of the murder. You already asked Linda that question, didn't you? Now I'm asking you. Why? To see if we say the same thing? That's part of it. Well, why would you care what Linda and I discussed? I want to know who hired the killer that murdered your father, that's all. I'd suggest you and Linda get your story straight before the trial. The band was silver with these big chunks of turquoise on it. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know the one you mean. Had one with either a man or a woman's watch set into it. Have you sold many of them? Mm, well, four, five. Four or five in the last couple of months. By any chance did you sell one to a man about 35, receding hairline, long sideburns, and really piercing blue eyes, about mm, this tall? Blue eyes. Yes, you know, I think I do remember selling one to someone like that. Why? He lost it in the bar where I work. He seemed like a good guy, and the watch looked like it cost a fortune. Mm -hmm. It did. <laughs> do you have it? No. No, my boss has it. And he won't return it until somebody claims it. Hmm? If you could just give me the guy's name. Oh, no, I don't think I should do that. <sighs> Miss, this is the fourth store I've tried. I'm tired and I'm not going to argue with you. If you don't give me the name, as far as I'm concerned, my boss can just keep okay, watching. Okay, okay, okay. Let me see if I've got the credit card slip.
Oh, boy. Somebody must think we're special because we got Post Raisin Bran. It's premium. Premium? It tastes great, right? Because Post only picks the big, plump raisins, not little ones. No way. Those big, crispy flakes. Look close. Looks bumpy. Well, that's a natural whole wheat in the wheat bran. Somebody sure must think we're special. It's our mommy. Post Raisin Bran. It's premium, and that makes everybody feel like somebody special.